So this morning, Sunday morning ramble is on the topic of five things not to say to somebody with an anxiety disorder. And I'm not suggesting these things make uh, you a bad person for saying them. Um, I've probably said them myself. Um, I've probably said them to myself. Um, but I do know that um, they're not the most helpful things to say. So um, I thought it'd be worth sharing them. So number one is, what have you got to be anxious about? That is one that we hear quite a lot. Um, I've even heard it from my GP. I've gone and see my GP and he's like, there are people living in war-torn countries. Oh my God, that makes you feel so ridiculous. I know that, I know I am in a privileged position. Um, however, my brain still thinks I might die. Um, and that is quite terrifying. Um, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you are not faced with trauma or, you know, terrifying situations because actually your brain is creating those terrifying situations and they feel very, very, very real. They feel terrifyingly real. Um, so, you know, al although you might not be faced with those things, you are actually thinking, oh my God, I've just trapped my cat in the dishwasher and something terrible is going to happen or my throat is closing up and I'm not going to be able to breathe. Those things are quite scary. Even though they're not real, they feel real. So that is number one. What have you got to be anxious about? Please don't say that one. Number two, don't panic. When you're in the middle of a panic attack, the thing you want more than anything is not to panic. If you could flick a switch and not panic, you would. So asking somebody not to panic, um, well, we'd all, love, we'd all love that. It just, it doesn't work. It's not helpful. So please refrain from that one. Number three, it's not real. Now, this kind of, it might sound like it's going back on what I've just said, um, because I've just said these things are in your head um, a lot of the time, but uh, they still feel very real. And one thing that is very, very real fact is the panic attack. The panic attack is real. The feeling of doom and dread is real. So, you know, we can't belittle that because that would belittle what you were going through, which is terrifying. As I keep saying, it is terrifying. So I would say, um, rather than saying it's not real, I would say something like, um, I know how terrifying this is. Panic attacks are horrible, um, but we know that you cannot die in this moment. We know that even if you do pass out, that's probably the worst that's gonna happen to you. Um, but we know it feels terrifying and um, we'll help you through it. And number four, you'll make yourself ill with worry. Um, uh, you already are. <laughs> um, you can't help it, just like you can't help having um, coronavirus or anything else. Like there are things we can do. There are things we can do to help us with any kind of illness, whether it be physical or mental, but it doesn't mean we can just wave a magic wand and it goes away. Um, so yeah, we know that we are ill. It's called an anxiety disorder. In my case, it's called generalized anxiety disorder and health anxiety. Um, and I've had panic attacks, whether or not that was panic disorder, I don't know, lots of disorders. Um, but they, they are an illness and uh, I currently take medication for them. Um, so, and I have done for six years actually. So um, yeah, you're already ill if you've got an anxiety disorder. Um, just try to reassure rather than belittle what it is. And finally, don't suggest someone has a drink. I think that that can be one of the worst things. There is a reason we talk about the beer fear on our hangover hell mornings. It's real. And when you've got an anxiety disorder in that moment, in that first few moments, it might feel kind of good, but you're just prolonging it. You're putting it off. It's going to come back with a vengeance the next morning um, or even sooner. If you wake up in the middle of the night, you can't sleep properly because alcohol affects your sleep. Um, so don't do that. Don't don't have a drink. Um, some tips for what I like. My husband always says things to me when I'm if I'm in a panic attack, which thankfully hasn't been for a little while. 
but he would um, he would tell me how he knows how frightening it is. Um, he would remind me to breathe. He would try to distract me by talking about other things. Um, and when I'd got to a level where we could, we would watch uh, cats doing funny things on YouTube. Um, so he's just there with me through the the panic attack and that is really helpful. Don't try to completely solve the problem, don't try to um, belittle it, don't try to pretend it's not real, it is real um, and just be there and be there for someone. Um, so no, not having a pop at anyone at all, I wouldn't do that. I've said some of these things myself, to myself, but um, just sharing from experience what is helpful.